Hey guys, how's it going? Drew here. Um, episode 2 of the Minnesota Wild BGM mode series on NHL 18. So where we left off is that we were going to look for a trade. Um, and so yeah, we need second line wingers, both right and left. Um, not trading Koivu. Pretty say I could deal with trading, but we're mainly going to be looking to trade some picks. So we're going to look at the wingers of some teams right now. Um, nothing really on the left there. Corey Perry, more of a first line guy. Um, so no thank you. Arizona. Nothing really going there. We want someone who can play now. Who's going to be good now? See, like, Reinhardt, Sam Reinhardt. That would be a really good pickup, honestly. What do you want, sir? They want Erickson Eck. I really don't want to give him up right now. This pick is looking way better than the 2019 in terms of value. And they take it. That's perfect. I am fine with that trade. Um, we can always grab another first round pick if we need it. I am fine with that. The value is so high because of where we are right now. I love that trade. Well, that was quick. So we got a right. We got a right wing. Let's look for that left wing. bit too high of a trade value. Skinner. Would be bad. He's kind of injured right now. Ajo, Sebastian Ajo. It is Sebastian, right? Yeah. Alright. I wasn't, I wasn't tripping there. Um, two years. Still that salary. Not bad. Um, I'd go for this. He's only 82, but he's going to get better. And he's better than what we got going on right now. What are his stats for the season like right now? Not bad. 11 goals, 14 assists. On 61 shots. Yeah, let's 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 go for it. Um did they take Zucker for him. That's not going to be enough. I also would like to just bump Zucker down to the third line. Um, let's see, who are they wanting? Could give him Kunin, though Kunin's probably going to be something a little better. Um, so I want to hold on to Kunin. Maybe you do send him Zucker. Otherwise, we'd be playing on the third line, but Winnick has been doing pretty good on that third line. He's much cheaper. So if we throw Zucker up there with, like, a pick. And I'm not really shooting for that first round pick. We could try just the first round or two. But see, that's like the uh, the trade value we're looking for. Like, Sand would be too much. A little too much. This is an in-division trade if this were to happen. But I don't think it is. Jenner is tempting, but... I don't know, he's, I would like someone like a little bit better. Uh, I know Nyquist is on their trade block. I think he's a right winger though. Could go for Tatar, but I don't like that contract. I mean, he takes him until he's 31. Hopefully he stays in 83. He would be a solid second liner. Let's see, what was that, 28 points? Let's look at all the stats here. So 
So about consistently above 40, I mean 39 there, but... So not too consistent. <laughs> it's something to consider. I will revisit that one. Let's check out another... Another trade here. Lucic is a second liner. I don't like the contract till he's 35. Not worth the first rounder either. Panther, Super Doe, pretty, probably a lot more than what we can grab right now. Pearson, now, I like this contract. I like the fact that he can still grow. His potential is top six high. Um, so he might grow to like an 83 overall. Oh, uh, which is a decent wheelhouse, honestly. He's got over 30 points so far. He's two-way, too, so he can help out that second line a lot, I would say. Um, don't really want to give up the first for that. Tempted to see what they would think of a Prius ideal. Probably, that, that's not going to go. So if I did Zucker, do they even want picks? Let's go Skaters Matching Block. At Kunin. Riley down here. I, don't know. I mean, I, I'm willing to give up Kunin, but I want someone a little better if that's going to be the case. I'm fine with Kunin leaving us. Um, like I'm not fine with it, but I'm willing to take that because we have Ek come up and coming who's a little bit better, and Kunin. I mean, he's good. He's probably going to be good. Um, but I think Ek is already, you know, he's already ahead of him. He's also a playmaker compared to that two-way forward. Uh, and I think Ek is going to become, like, a top six. So I think keeping the playmaker in terms of top six is a little better. I think two-way forward is a third-line center. Um, and I think he would only really make it to the third-line center uh, role. Uh, I know it says medium top six. I really think he makes it like top nine. So I think Kunin, tr uh, trade involving Kunin, uh, I'd like to hold on to Zucker if possible. Um, could be could be solid. Um, you know, at least out of all the prospects that we got here. All right, Bailey here, one year. I don't really want a one-year deal. I would like, like, you know, two to three range would be perfect, unless it's, like, you know, a cheap, cheap deal. Oh, we got JT Miller here. He was a two-way, but he's got some offensive, uh, some offense going on. He's 24. I like the contract. It is a one-year, but we can re-up him. And he's 24, so he's someone we would like to resign compared to who are we just looking at? Uh, Bailey, who is 28, so he's kind of going, in, like, he's not going to improve much more. Miller could improve a little bit more. This will bring us right up to the cap, but I'm going to try it. And so they accept. Um, part of me wants to cancel and just see if we can get a pick out of it. So I'm going to do that. It's a little bit of a cheat. But we know they'll accept that. Can we snag a second rounder? No. How about a third rounder? All right, then I don't really need that. Let's go. Um, okay. Sweet, so we got ourselves a second line now. Let's go to roster moves. Um, let's go to our least overall. So who do we keep up? Well, wait, who's in the system that we might want up? No one really. Um, let's, look at any, let's look at our defensemen. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I kind of want that seventh defenseman up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Who would get the boot here? Falingo? Yeah, Falingo isn't even playing. Um, Colin's kind of that uh, fourth guy. Or sorry, that extra. So yeah, I think we sent Falingo down. We'll have to go through waivers, but we could get that contract off. Oh, wait, we have too many goalies. Oh, because Dumnik, uh, Dumnik's not back yet. So we need to keep him up. Um, so yeah, I say we send Falingo down. That did not take care of the cap space, unfortunately, though. So we will have to send down... Murphy's the two-way, so we're going to have to... Why would he be waivers? He's two-way contract. Alright, we'll send him. Hopefully he doesn't get picked up. Edit lines. Do the whole maneuver. Best lines. All right, so we got Miller, Parise. They're bumping Niederreiter over to left wing. Reinhardt there. Don't like it. I want that. Wait. Uh, you know, this could be better. And we got Koivu here. Let's put Coil there. Cullen, you swap out for Eck. So, I kind of like this. Um... Because Niederreiter hasn't been doing that great. Second line needs some help. Well, Stahl needs some help. You got Playmaker, Sniper, and a two-way forward. You got Reinhardt, Playmaker, Granlin, Playmaker, Parise, Playmaker. That's not going to work. I mean, it could, and I, I and I want Reinhardt to get the... To get the minutes. Um... I think this line worked pretty well. Um, I mean, the third line's doing great. Now they have Zucker, uh, which is going to make it even better, I think. Um, so I think this might work out. I'm going to try it for now. And yeah, let's roll with this for a little bit. Uh, we'll review it at the end of the month, and then we can make switches if needed. I kind of want to keep that first line of error just because Granlin's been doing good. Parise has been doing pretty good. Um, yeah, these guys can just go best lines. All right, cool. And we're going to check out the... What you might call it player morale? Yeah, because it looked like Reinhardt needed some encouragement of both of these guys after being traded. Injury is a big change, but I'll make you proud of your choice. I think you will. Approach didn't jive well. What is he saying? Glad to join the team. I'll make this trade look good for you. It's calm. Okay, cool. So calming was probably the better approach. Uh, really in a new player. Um, all right, let's get to the sim. We'll sim like a month or two. Um, at the very least. So we'll sim at January, and let's see how we do after those trades. Lost to start. Reinhardt against his old team is a win. Big win against Colorado, who is the first in the division. At least at the end of last episode, Devin Dumnik is ready to return. Um, so yeah, that's right. Dumnik was injured, and now he's not, folks. Now he's not. So we'll sub in Dumnik, and then we'll sub in. And I think we'll, what we're gonna do is go to roster news. Um, I mean, we can keep the third goalie up. But I'd just like to send Svedberg down. Um, and bring... 
Murphy back up just so we don't need to be like making maneuvers um just so we don't need to be making maneuvers if a defenseman gets injured we don't need to make more roster moves see like right now when Brodin goes down with a concussion which is an awful blow but uh you know it is what it is so this this is the new maneuver here why is everyone slots up? Okay, Koivu, no, Koivu, you switch, and then you are Ek. Cool. Gonna stick with this for a little bit. Like I said, at least a month. And now we have Dunnick back, which is really encouraging that we we're doing, like, really good without him. We're not really good, but, you know, we were, we were above average without him. Um... Spurgeon is now injured, so now this is where this gets tricky because we don't have that defense. We already have Winnick playing on defense. And now we have Stewart. See, I think we ought to have Cullen there. But whatever, you know what? We're going to rock it because I don't want to continue making moves just for, like, um... Just for stuff to get messed up again, you know. Like, the, like someone's gonna come back from injury, so might as well just play Stewart at de defense. <laughs> uh, I think we go Liga because we did the ELHL last game or uh, last episode. Pretty sure. One of them win against Vancouver. Shout out for Dumnick, most likely. That we aren't 100% sure who is in net right now. Shoot out win against Tampa is big. Win against Ottawa is also big based on where they were. Um, and now, see, there's Spurgeon back. So, like, why go through all the roster moves? Now, Eck is officially a 78. Um... Is Winnick a defenseman? No, he's a left winger. That's what I thought. So do we have another defenseman we can bring on? No. So do we have two defensemen out then? Because we have Spurgeon, we have... Brodine is injured, and someone else is injured. Why am I blanking? We had like an 80... Dumba. Dumba is injured. What's Dumba's injury? I'm forgetting why, like when Dumba went down and for what reason. Well, maybe he's back. Yeah, Dumba is back. I wonder what his injury was. So now we have Winnick on that fourth line. Okay, this is looking much better. Um, that's all good. We bring Ek in. Yeah, I really like this. Our lines are much well rounded out. And now we go to Russia. Ryan Murray has been injured. Best lines. So Winnick, that means Winnick is over there. What? Whoa. So they're hopping Koivu up there. Best lines just keep switching and switching and switching and switching, huh? So we got Winnick back on defense. And like I said, kind of pointless to like switch it around. Um, because someone's just going to return from injury soon enough. Alright, so let's take a look. Now Parise is up there in 45 points in 50 games, closing in on that 20-goal marker. Is anyone at 20 goals already? No, but Koivu is close. 34 assists from Granlin. That's impressive. So Parise, Granlin, Koivu, Niederreiter. So Niederreiter is doing a lot better. Reinhardt is producing pretty solid. Coyle doing great on that fourth line still. Um... With 29 points. JT Miller 
doing all right there. Eck is performing great, um, better than honestly expected. I was expecting the season just to be one for him to grow, but he's actually really contributing now. Uh, Stahl still needs some work. Um, not, I mean, I think he's improved a bit with the new line mates, so we'll see how that goes. Suter, um, still don't like these plus minuses here. I feel like maybe they're on the PK. I haven't really done anything with special teams, so maybe we'll take a look at that. Um, I do want to take a look at that really quick. Um, because I want to see if that has anything to do with it. We can check out this here. We're back in second place. So we have 59 points, 50 games played. Uh, Colorado has a game in hand, a uh, uh, game in hand. Uh, but we're tied in points. Blackhawks are behind by four. Same with the Blues, who we have two games on. Dallas behind. Uh, by two more points, Nashville behind by four more points, and Winnipeg at bottom of the barrel. Atlantic Division is roughly the same as when we last left it. Same with the Metropolitan. Jersey now making a push, though. Islanders still there. Columbus on the outside looking in. Uh, and the Pacific, Sharks back on top. Coyotes back in there. Oilers still in there. Uh, Kings still, you know, outside looking in, but... Looking like they'll be the wild card team over there. Same with Calgary. Calgary's looking like a wild card team right now. Um, so yeah, we have something to do here, but I'll take a look at the lines just to look at the like special teams real quick. Um, team store needs an upgrade or repair. Let's upgrade it. Why don't we upgrade it? I don't see why not. Might as well. Not a big business decision in a video game. Um, yeah, let's edit these lines. Um, special teams. Here's what our power play is looking like, which I actually like Reinhardt being on that first power play line. Um, yeah, I really don't mind that. So we got Ek and Zucker and then Koivu and Miller. So... Our first line isn't on the PK. They're actually on the power play. And their plus minus sucks. So that is actually puzzling. I really had assumed they were on the PK because of that. Which is why I don't like plus minus as a stat. If it was a 5 on 5 plus minus, then you know that makes more of an impact um, on me it makes a better impression on me just because like being on a special teams unit affects your plus minus so much if you're on the pk and not the power play uh or even if you're on both um you basically like it really depends like how many power plays does your team get how many penalty kills does your team get you know that really affects it if it's just five on five that's really more telling you of what your effect is on the ice um, they really want stall on the third line, but I really like that, uh, how much Koivu is helping out Ennis and how great Koivu is producing on that line. Wait, no, Ennis, no. Why would I bring Ennis in? That was a brain fart. Just doing a lot of talking while... Editing lines. Big mistake. There are some people who want to meet with me. Parise. You know, I really have to admit, I'm thrilled to be playing with my playing time lately. There's a lot of guys in that locker room working hard to earn some of your ice time. Yeah, Alright, cool. Um, I was worried because, like, I don't really see many. Uh, I suppose you could drop him down and throw Reinhardt and Niederreiter, which isn't a bad idea. But we'll see. Multiple people come back. I hope that's Burdine. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to come back soon anyway. Yep. Um, all right, so Koivu, Coil, Cullen for Ek. <laughs> I know it's Erickson Ek, but I just like calling him Ek. I think that's just the best way to go about it. 
Wow, a concussion again? It's probably just his concussion got worse. Um, it's really like post-concussion syndrome, but like, ouch. So we have two things to do now in the uh, upgrade and maintain section. I'm gonna wait for the team store be built. I don't. I do not want Dennis Weidman. Though, how is he? Because oh, it's Chris Weidman. <laughs> I thought it was a D. I thought it was Dennis Weidman. I always thought it was Weidman, so I just assumed. Um. I mean, Lang's not going to be much. A third rounder for a fourth rounder, though, for chump change. Someone who we're not going to re-sign. I don't want to make that deal. If it was, like, a pick-for-pick pick trade, I would. Like, it was a fourth-for-fourth. Fourth. Um, but it was not. Um, so we've gone everywhere. Rest of world. We'll do one week west of world, because there's, like, eight forwards there. Not a big chance that we'll be drafting someone. From there, taking a long time to sim a Rangers and Iowa game. Now we have three things to look at in the upgrade and maintain. But don't really want to change, stop the sim for that. Like, we'll just get to it at the end of the month is what I'm thinking. Finally, goodbye. Shootout win. Another shootout win. Iowa player injured Landon Ferraro. We will best lines that. I'm done with the scouting trip again. All right, so now this is when we come through for defense. Wow, there's six things now. I am going to stop the sim because there's a lot going on here in our arena. Um, Our fifth round pick would go back. For a goalie, I don't need that. Player morale. Parise again. I want, I'm going to do that demanding again. He seems to respond favorably to that, which he just did again. Um, what is going on in Arena Land? Does everything just needs maintenance, basically. Basically what it was. Alright, closing in on the end of the video here, we'll sim the rest of February, check out the stats, check out the standings, and then wrap her up. Um OT win against New Jersey. Alright, England, I don't really like giving up those picks, but we'll take a look. Let's see how England is. The contract isn't bad. What's his ranking? He's also injured, and he's 78. And a one-year deal, so I probably wouldn't get re-signed. So, going to be a no. I like the cap hit, but that was really it. The trade deadline is almost upon us. Edit trade lock. All right. So we still have Koivu there. I'm going to take Koivu off. I want to re-sign Koivu. We have that first round pick. I'm willing to field offers on Parise, but he's doing really good. Um, there's not really anyone else that I really am looking to trade. I mean, I might field offers for Zucker. Sure, let's toss the Zucker up there just to see what's out there. But I'm I'm really solid. I'm not gonna change much of 
this, though. Our want would be a defenseman. Um, top six. Um, seventh D to top four. Uh, I'm going to drop that down to top six. And salary max, I'm going to look at like two million as the max. Uh, I'd preferably like less than that. But I'm going to throw that out there. Um, current picks totally open to whatever. Same with future. Up for whatever, guys. Um, so two more games to sim. Oh, you know what? I'm going to stop that sim before the trade deadline. It's trade deadline day. We'll handle that in the next episode. We'll see if there's anything we can we can add. Um, owner's got something for us. As a championship caliber team, anything short of a Stanley Cup is considered a failure. Okay, okay. Calm down, dude. Like, I don't know about that. We will see. Um... 52 points for Parise. He has broken the 20 goal threshold. Um, probably for the like 10th time in his career. Um, 51 points for Granlin. Only 11 goals, but 40 assists. So he's just that playmaking machine. Um, Koivu there, 220 goal threshold. Niederreiter scored 20 goals. Um, both have 22 assists. They're, they're identical, uh, except for games played. Reinhardt up there with 42 points. Like to see that. Suter is at 34 points. Five goals and 29 assists. Really, really chugging along there. JT Miller in there as well. Coyle almost at 20 goals on the fourth line. That is big. Uh, Eric Stahl still not where I'd like to see him. So I'm thinking Stahl might be the guy that, you know, we could dish him like at the draft or something. I'm, I'm, I want to keep him for now, but... That is someone we could we could ditch at some point. Uh, I was originally saying that it would be Koivu, but Koivu is proving to me why he is getting the big dough. Um, so yeah, and we'll just take a look quickly at the standings, and then we will wrap this one up. So it looks like we're third place in the central. Um, yeah, third place in the Central. Game in hand over Chicago, who is just a point ahead. We're in a playoff slot right now. Game in hand over St. Louis, who's just a point behind. Uh, Predators have game on us, but they're three points. Stars, uh, four points. And then Winnipeg Jets, not a factor. So we have, we could be making a push for the Central Division. Uh, we're still in a big fight for a playoff spot. Um, Pacific Edmonton, Sharks, Coyotes, Kings, not much changing there. Still in the Atlantic, not much changing there. Metropolitan, not much changing there either. So there you have it, guys. Um, so we'll look at what we can make for moves at the trade deadline. Maybe bringing in a, a slightly better defenseman is what I'm thinking uh, for that bottom pair. Uh, but then we will be, uh, going the rest of the way, uh, of the season up until the playoffs, I'm thinking, is what we'll get done next time, and then, uh, we'll see if we are in a playoff spot, but, uh, it's going good, guys. I'm liking how this is looking. Um, anyway, uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I'll see you guys later.